Let's consider the example here in estimating a limit numerically. Complete the table and use the result to estimate the limit of the given expression here, which is read as the limit of the square root of x plus 1 minus 1 over x as x approaches 0. And then use the graphing utility to graph the function to confirm your result. To complete the table, all you need to do is replace x here by the value that you see in here. So for instance, for the first column, we will replace x by negative 0.1. One, so you have negative 0.1 plus 1 minus 1 all over negative 0.1. And then you input that to your calculator. So when you do that, this is the, what you were going to get. If x is equal to negative 0.1, f of x will be 0.5132. From this example here, we see that if x approaches to 0, either from the left or from the right of 0, the values of f of x would go closer and closer to 0.5. Okay, so if you see, if you could see, if I'm going to start at the left hand side of 0, the values of f of x would go closer and closer to 0.5. And also, if I look at the values from the right of 0, as you could see, the value for f of x also goes closer and closer to 0.5. So the estimated limit for this expression here is equal to 0.5. Now we want to confirm our result graphically. This is how its graph would look like. If you move the, the point here closer and closer to 0, okay, I, from the left-hand side, values of x from the left-hand side of 0, you would see that the point value, look at the y-coordinate, it would actually move closer and closer to 0.5. But actually at 0, the point is actually undefined. See? If at 0. But to the left of it, very close to it, it is really close to 0.5. Okay? Now if we look at the values to the right of 0, and you approach it, you move it close to 0, your y values would also move closer and closer and closer to 0.5. Thank you.